Welcome one and all, this is The Peace Dealer and this video is about Lilith in a third house. So before I get into Lilith in the third house, just to clarify, this applies if you have your mean Lilith or your true Lilith here. Um, in order to calculate your mean or true Lilith, you want to go to astro.com. That's the only calculator I know that you could actually pull up both of them. Although to actually pull up the true Lilith is a little bit more complicated. You have to actually manually add it in as a search point, but either way, True, mean Lilith, this will be accurate. Please, in the comment section, let me know which is more accurate for you, if your mean and true is here. Um, but when your Lilith is in the third house, this takes your attitude and it makes it so sexy. The third house is a very underrated house too, but it's the building block of perception. So the third house, or let me let me go back the ninth house is all about your beliefs the sixth house is all about your behavior you know and in order to develop beliefs and the behavior you need an attitude it's the thoughts that you have it's the mindset you have that's going to influence your behavior which is going to influence your beliefs which are very powerful in this life so the third house is not only about attitude and belief, I'm sorry, not only about attitude and mindset, but also um, you could equate it to high school, elementary, but more so uh, camaraderie you have, camaraderie you share with a friend or a sibling. The reason why the third house actually is similar to a relationship between brothers and sisters or friends is because it is with these people you can liberally express your mind and thus develop your attitude. It's very important. Thus, therefore, to be careful of the friends that you have. If you're around like five people with shitty attitudes, you're gonna have a shitty attitude. But when Lilith is in the third house, you have a sexy attitude. And this is so interesting in some people because they may not even notice it like they may be so low-key those those of you who are low-key with this position y'all the real mvps because you it's like a f switch you can turn on or off like on the surface they may be a plain jane or they could be drop dead gorgeous but what's sexy about them is the way they think the way that they express their ideas and the way that they know how to bounce back from a negative situation you can see it in the way they talk the choice of words that they use it's a little bit similar to lilith and gemini but what makes it different from lilith and gemini is if you have this in scorpio or leo just the fact that it's in the third house is going to take the energy of that sign and express it with a fierce like attitude adding on lilith's influence it's just this mysterious energy where you know there's something deeper inside that person to where they're expressing the, their thoughts the way they do. One negative side, uh, however, to Lilith in the third house is if they don't necessarily mask, because it's not the easiest energy to master, if they don't master those vibrations right, then their attitude could be very sour. And when they're in a bad mood, you can definitely tell. They can be, they can have the most nasty attitude ever, where it's just like, oh my gosh. And not only do they have a nasty attitude, I forgot to mention this with Lilith and Gemini, but it's even more so in the third house. Um, they can destroy you with their words. Like they'll know just what to say to get right at you emotionally, just from a mental state of mind. But these people definitely, um, they're, very seductive and they could attract teachers in their life who want to have sex with them which is not always cool because Lilith in the third house is very eager to learn about occult subjects um, but just 
not necessarily a cult, but taboo. Things that aren't necessarily widespread taught because the third house is the house of learning opposite the ninth house of teaching. And that third house influence could attract people who are in a position to teach them, but it's meant to teach them sexually. They could have a very strong, if the people, if Lilith in the third house, um, if they develop a strong sexual attraction to someone, it could be because their Mars is on their Pluto, their Venus is uh, trining their Mars or something, but it also could be because they're attracting somebody who's meant to teach them sexually. Or they could teach them about arithmetic, but they're going to be strong sexual vibes. Another thing, um, men with Lilith in the third house, they're going to similar to the woman attract I'm sorry express their attitude in a very sexual way um that's really just sexy but they're more so going to hold space for a woman to reflect that for them whereas the woman is going to embody this and I see this in some woman and it's really sexy just because of the low-key nature of the third house like you have to be smart to really even catch what most of them are doing or you wouldn't even know. And and see, it's not even so that they have to say it in an innuendo. That's more Lilith and Aquarius, you know what I'm saying? Or more Lilith and Virgo. It's not necessarily a sexual innuendo, it's just a nuance in their gestures and in the way that their attitude is and how they see life. It's just sexy. And if you're not really tuned into it, it could go over your head. That's a little bit, however, about Lilith in the third house. Um, another thing is that Lilith in the third house could promote incest. Definitely possible. Especially more so with Lilith in Gemini. But Lilith in the third house is great for having friends with benefits. That is actually preferred because the friend that you could actually... and. We're not talking about friend in the 11th house sense who you go out with. We're talking about the friend that you see as like a brother or sister, which could kind of be weird, which is why I into that incest. But that third house influence, that that person in your life who you have that connection with, that's like um, not necessarily like 11th house friend, but a comrade, like a bro or sis they're going to help you express your sexuality in ways that you wouldn't because you weren't in a position to. You might look at someone else as an authority figure, so you're not necessarily willing to be vulnerable like you can be vulnerable to someone who's a really close friend that's almost like family to you. Um, other than that, Lilith in the third house definitely gives one an edge over their immediate environment, and they know how to be at the right place at the right time. So I hope you enjoyed this Lilith in the Third House video. Um, like I said, these people have, are gifted with very sexy attitudes and talents as well. Um, you, you can definitely find this uh, in, this is a stereotypical example, but you can find this, say, in a stripper. Lilith in the fifth house is ideal for strippers because they know how to just rock out. But Lilith in the third house will be more subtle because there's going to be a certain grace for how they twirl. They're not, they're not necessarily going to be more focused on their nudity. It's how they move their body and it's how they you know, interact with people because third house does deal with connection and communication. So until next video, y'all.